There's an old Blue Peter recipe for making a Volvo 300 series. You need a washing up powder box, some sticky back plastic, and two tons of pig iron. Oh dear, I'm in a Volvo 3 series. That's unbelievable, look. And turn the wheel that much and it has no say on where we're going. Look at this. We're still going in a completely straight line. What a hateful car. Volvo has built up a sound and solid reputation for making cars which protect you well should you have an accident. And that's a good thing because I hate this car so much, I'm going to crash it. Uh, how did I do? Ooh, good, good, good. Splendid. I'd rather walk anyway. I would certainly rather walk than ever drive one of these again. It's hard to find a car that's worse than the old Volvo, but I've certainly managed it here. This, of course, is the Yugo 45, made by Zastava or Zastafer or... Oh, I don't know how you pronounce it. I've got my foot welded to the floor. Absolutely welded to the floor. Come on, come on! And all that happens... And all that happens is that I'm chewing up petrol in a miserable little five-gallon tank. You use it up in about two minutes. Look at it! And it gives you a headache. It's a hateful, hateful car. Come on! Come on! Come on! Right, 31. 31 miles an hour. 35. 35. Come on. 40. 40. 40. We've got 40. The hill! Come on! 40. Yes, that's it. We're over 50. 50 miles an hour. We've gone for fourth. Oh, come on! 58. Now I'm giving up. It's too much of that hard work. Check this out, check this out for braking, right, ready? And we're in the grass verge. And I can't get a gear. Come on. Come on! Come on! Look what's coming now! No! Oh! Well, this is pathetic. You get overtaken by wildlife. What they did with the Yugo 45 was take all the best bits of the Fiat 127 and throw them away. Uh, once they were left with the bag of rubbish, they then got a top Yugoslavian styling guru to come up with this amazing shape. Look at this. And you can change gear. Look at that. No clutch. In you go. What a car. For once, though, I've got it exact... Hold on. <coughs> the door's jammed. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Get the window down. Oh. The winder's come off. Wait a minute. As I was saying, for once, I've got the damn thing exactly where I want it. Uh, uh, you have missed your last gear change.
Bobos. So here I am in command of a chieftain tank, 56 tons of British beef. <laughs> right at the back there, I've got a supercharged 19,000cc diesel engine. 12 pistons whirring away in six cylinders. It'll take this baby up to 30 miles an hour. It uses one gallon of diesel to go a quarter of a mile. But the engine is not that important right now. What really matters is the 120 millimeter gun up there. That will fire a round of ammunition through any armor known to man at a range of three kilometers. One has to presume, therefore, it will have no trouble whatsoever reducing a Yugo to its component parts at a range of about 100 yards. Let's find out. <laughs> Bernie, the shell, if you please. Okay, that's left a bit, left a bit, stop. Up a bit, up a bit more, up a bit, stop, stop, down a bit, down a bit. Okay, right a bit, right a bit. <laughs> yep, stop, stop, down a bit, down a bit, left a bit, left a bit. Left, left, stop. Goodbye, Mr. Hugo. Fire. <laughs>